Just a bit of ring around the rosy, some merry-go-round action. I don't know where Sarabov went. Never mind. Scratch that. Crystal Spear did hit Sarabov. Oh. Oh me oh my. In that case, let's uh, bring you back into the party, my friend. That's an okay amount of damage. Let's be slightly careful in the firestorm. Oh, I'm no longer hasted, and you are, my friend. So let's fix that, shall we? Haste resistance and heal wounds. Yeah, that firestorm sure does suck. Um, I think I can walk out of this one, though. Oh, you're one step closer to me than I thought you were, if we're being frank. Oh gosh, you could hit me with another firestorm. Oh, I was way too cocky about this. Surprise, surprise, as is always the case. Um, hmm. We're fast, you're fast. What do we do with you, my friend? At least have some damage dealt your way. So that's always nice. We just need to keep that up as much as we possibly can here. Jeez Louise. I want to just take another step. I'm slightly concerned. I guess we're both hasted. So in that regard, you can't step forward and hit me with another Firestorm. And you're currently at 1, 2, 3, 4... Six. One, two, three, four, five. How am I still in range of your firestorm, you son of a gun? <laughs> oh, do I dare risk it? Try and keep this blink scroll for the future? I will, I feel like, need it in the future. If you do hit me with firestorm. I don't know my Firestorm damage numbers very well. I don't know how much is a portion of its damage that bypasses our fire resistance. Because it would be nice to keep our blank scroll temporarily. You got a point, Alan. It's definitely no future if we're dead. This is true. So okay, we'll we'll play it safe. It's not even a, a guarantee that we'll be safe here, just far more likely. Can potion petition once again here get brilliance and magic? It's not a bad combo. And there we go. You get killed. Why just run away? So will you reset, Sarabov? What the heck do you do with your life? There's no longer an adventurer to hunt. What's your game plan, my friend? But okay, we can help out our servitor in this little mini-encounter here. Fantastic. Great work. Holy moly. Okay. Oh, we got another scroll of blinking. Would you look at that? That's nice. <laughs> Oh, where am I going to run into Sarabov? Not here yet. Okay. This friggin' shadow scared the ever-living crap out of me. I thought you were actually there for a moment. Of course, I'm a very, very brave boy. Didn't scare me for a second. Never didn't have it and all that good stuff. Of course, of course. Gosh. Darn it. Mark. Mark Tholomew. Get the heck out of here. So I'm just gonna run, run, run to my little heart's content here. We'll see if Sarabov comes all this way. I don't think they will. Could be wrong. Could be surprised. But I believe we're in a half decent spot here. 
bit more manageable and replenish all of our magic. How close am I to MCC? Because that would solve this problem. We could... Okay, backup strat here that I'm hoping we don't need to engage in. It doesn't sound very fun. We could just hang around in the top right here until we get enough experience for Maxwell's capacitive coupling. Technically an option. Ooh, a battle axe orb guardian's regret. It's fun. I don't think we'll use it whatsoever, but it's fun. I always like to take note of any rand arts that we come across. And okay. Holy moly, yeah, see the damage just ramps up real fast. And I'm not paying close enough attention to know what's even causing those huge swings. Scarf of Resistance. Oh, I wish. Oh, how I wish we could use you. Okay, so we've cleared everywhere except for the castle, which means there's no real point in keeping our exclusion around. Who are you? <laughs> are you Serebov? No, just Nefreed. Okay. Pretty much the exact opposite. That I can comfortably deal with. You too, my uh, summoning pal. And not too shabby. We'll kind of just chill in here and finish off the rest of you kiddos. Stay out of range of those alarm traps. Okay, and it is the Balrogs that uh, start to do a, a hefty bit of work on us when we get into those one-on-one -on -one situations, so that is good to take note of here. Gain another 41 gold, perfect. And, okay, I guess no time like the present. Okay, let's dance, you and I. Saravav, where the heck are you, my friend? Okay, you immediately haste, which... Hit for tat, you son of a gun. Spellforge Servitor, if you could uh, do some work for me there. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, before I was losing my mind, I wasn't in range. It was, it wasn't red. It was white, which meant we weren't in range of the firestorm earlier. And I'm just dumb. Whoops. Well, at the very least, with us both tasted, you're not faster than me. I'm worried that I'm gonna miss like a shortcut path that you're gonna take. I can't really waste even a single turn on bringing in a Spellforge Servitor either at this rate. Okay, Damnation is gonna be a, a fun time for everyone. Oh, you're no longer hasted though. Okay, so. Is there anything else I can do? I mean, now we're in a position where I could potentially get a little sneaky. Run for your rune. It's kind of asking for trouble, if we're being honest, but... Could be fun. One, two, three, four, five. So we're no longer in range of Firestorm. So I could spend one turn like digging a hole through this wall, which is what I was kind of coming into this corner to do. In general, probably should never come into this corner and should have popped there. But I guess this does give our Spellforge Servitor a potential turn to uh, work some magic here. If you could be so kind, buddy, I believe in you. Let's... uh. Get our own Sarabov, please and thank you. Box of Beasts, please and thank you. What else can I do? Not in range for the uh, Lahutip Crystal Spear on my end. Just can bring Spellforge Servitor back into the mix, I guess. And... There we go. We've at least gotten... Oh, I'm no longer hasted. Son of a gun. Let's fix that, shall we? Haste and brilliance, please and thank you. Spellforge Servitor. If you 
could maybe take care of some of those summons. I know one thing with Sarabob is they have so much health that you can kind of get away with interesting strats where you retreat from the fight long enough to fully heal. And they have far too much health even with like half decent regeneration. There's just no shot. Okay, let's let's keep heading down here, shall we? Don't like the smite coming in. Sarabov is no longer hasted, so that's nice. This is where we can... Okay, now you are hasted, but still not too bad. I can still potentially whip out a couple of these orbs here. Sarabov is severely wounded. Yes, please. Oh, son of a gun. I thought I was out of range. Feel ourselves slow down, so that's going to be a another potion petition. In fact, let's just potion petition some heal here. Gosh darn it, Serbov, where the heck are you, friend? Okay, got distracted by gold, I'm guessing. Uh, which normally would be kind of nice if I was trying to retreat, but we actually almost had you on the back foot, maybe? Give me haste, give me haste. Can we do get haste? I'm not even that upset about Firestorm. We're just gonna start wailing away here. And in fact, this might be the make it or break it time. Hey, there we go. Okay. Holy moly. Well, apologies for the slightly painful encounter with Sarabov. I did not expect it to be quite so uh, detrimental to my own, you know, survival, but hey, managed to get through it in one piece here, which is definitely the important part. And now we should be pretty much good to go to just clear out the rest of this floor here, pick up our rune and be in a pretty fantastic spot, all things considered. Beautiful. Maybe, just maybe, there's a, there's a hope for our demon spawn buddy here, eh? At least that's the dream. Two scrolls of blinking? Okay. Yeah. I'm feeling better already, even with just that at our disposal here. Fantastic. And let's keep our servitor. We can kind of hit through them with our polearm anyway. So that works out quite nicely for us. Beautiful. And any second now we can finish off the rest of this gosh darn floor. A little bit of damnation, not exactly ideal. Deal 60 damage at a max. Hate that. Raid HU, and there we go. And the rest of you should be manageable. Should be plenty of. I was about to say plenty of money to go around. Doesn't seem like it though. <laughs> this is. Not the first time that we've seen some money disappear. I don't know if the denizens of Pan have just gone a little greedy as of late. Hmm. Very strange, but okay, let's take a look here. Manual of armor, unarmed combat. So if we ever do decide to late shift into transmutations, it's technically an option. An evocable blink and ring of fire. Don't think so for me, dog. But there we go. Fiery rune under our belt. Not too shabby here. And how are we doing for time this evening? Still have a little bit to go. So what do we do? Do we keep heading on here? We've beaten Lom Laban and we've beaten Sarabov. So that leaves us with Noleg and Glork's Vlox. Glork's Vlox is all like negative energy, necromancy. I feel like we do all right against them. No leg sucks. Heavy mutation energy. I mean, one thing we could think about doing here is drinking some mutation potions. Minus 20% health sucks. Very much so. I feel like we would have been much more comfortable throughout this entire encounter without that being a, a constant, consistent thorn in our side here. Hmm. Let's go for it, shall we? I'm gonna drink a mutation. Hopefully it leaves us 
with our mutation resistance? It does. Spells are a little harder to cast, but more powerful. Okay. That's actually not too bad. I can I can handle that. It does mean that we'll be a little bit longer in our goal and our mission to learn both Firestorm and Maxwell's Capacitive Coupling. But that's not the end of the world. In fact, yeah, let's bring this up to 24, shall we? And so, with that in mind, let's continue going through Pan. Oh, we're, we're in a bit of a hot streak now. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling limber, all nice and uh, warmed up by our encounter with Sarabov. So let's get blasting, shall we, folks? And see how it all goes down here. Hello, all of my fiery friends. Getting kind of lazy with the encounters, just spamming tab instead of bringing my servitor back in, but I guess all is well that ends well, and it is working out for us so far. Oh, hello, my Deva friend. And... An enraged Hell Sentinel? I think that means no damnation from you, so I'm I'm kind of down. In fact, not just kind, I'm very, very much down with this. Like, holy moly, you fools. <laughs> Almost feel sorry for them, but I, I of course don't. <laughs> I've been at the, uh, the losing side of a uh, Hell Sentinel far too many times for me to uh, look that gift horse in the mouth. There we go. Also can't really talk, apparently, but what else is new? Let's keep the Spellforge Servitor Crystal Spears coming, my friend. Fantastic work out there. Beautiful job. And not too shabby. Okie dokie. It's, it's kind of nice just being back in regular pan after the absolute hell and destruction that we've been through. I'll step next to these other enemies so that the Hell Sentinel hopefully chills. I like that I was just talking about my confidence as we start to uh, look a little worse for wear based on this encounter. I mean, should be fine, especially just bring some healing into the mix. Whip out a quick little bit of irradiation just to take care of our Hell Sentinel friend, and then our Spellforge Servitor can definitely handle the rest of the, uh, the trash here. Ah, you did your best, friend. Honestly, you did good enough, really, if we're being honest. Come on, Spellforge Servitor, you can do it, you son of a gun. Keep hearing the wailing of the damned. Interesting. Okay. Now, where did you go, my El Sentinel friend? Ah, sweet the devil. You can do it, Spellforge Servitor. I believe in you. I'll help out a little bit as well, just for just for expediting the situation a little bit. Fantastic. And that's the G. Okay. Well, not too shabby, all things considered, once again. I feel like there's there's not a heck of a lot to say about Pan. It is what it is. It's a weird amount of like generally being pretty safe and spamming tab and then every once in a while you need to really quickly reel that hubris right back on in make sure we're not doing anything too too stupid but so far we're imagining to do just that and hello Tilia, how are you doing today energy bolt poison arrow haste you should be super manageable i hate to appear overconfident especially right after talking about the uh trying not to fall victim to hubris part of my strategy here but sometimes you just gotta call it like you see it it is what it is and it's absolutely beautiful just fantastic so okie dokie we'll clear through the rest of this level i feel like we might as well finish it at this point already a decent way in still trying to look for some consumables to replace things that we've lost in our journey so that's nice as well and by our powers combined, you should be dead. Fantastic. So, okay, we do have a gateway out of here, if we so desired. We could head back out to regular dungeon. We could switch stuff up for a bit of, uh, I guess, hell-based action, if we so desired. Don't really lean that direction at the moment, though. So our, our remaining options 
go a few more floors of pan and see how it works out. We could leave and head into our uh, our ziggurat if we wanted. I'm not sure how confident I feel in our ability to deal with certain floors that we'd find in the ziggurat, specifically any of the like the Tartarus floor, where, or Dis, I think. It's the Dis floor that is just filled with Hell Sentinels and Iron Golems. It's just a, a heck of a time and not in a good way. So I might have talked myself into just chilling in pan for the time being here. Let's, you know, it's ain't broke. Let's not fix it. And let's keep going as we come into Noleg's realm. So this is pretty much the one place that we were hoping to keep our mutation resistance around for, and we did manage to keep it for the time being here. We'll be coming across tons of mutators on our way to see the uh, the Great Jester themselves. So definitely something that we can hopefully not uh, get too harshly with, those uh, mutations that is, and we'll see how it all goes down we don't really want to hang out on this level longer than we have to so i probably should actually just map it out real quick and let us do take a peek so this looks to be our entrance as it were our point of entry which i guess is what an entrance is so i feel agile oh my gosh i mean i don't like losing an intelligence and a strength but better than a lot of options that you could have levied our way, so I'll take it. Fantastic, and potion mutation. Just please feel odd for a moment, so that was us resisting yet another mutation here. So we feel dopey, that's not great. How are we doing for casting rates? Still okay. It's nice that we have a decent kind of a cushion on our Lehutive Crystal Sphere spell rate, so we can pretty much always have our uh, Spellforged buddy slinging those bad boys out left and right to their heart's content, so that's just beautiful. And where are you, Noleg? Or Neoleg, as we like to call you in the biz. Fantastic bunch of very ugly things that I don't mind whatsoever as much as Zin seems to hate them this stage in the game I'm not too fussed about it one way or another okay this is starting to look a little more serious though still fully manageable even for just our spellforged friend and any of you actually know leg or are you just nice speak of the devil don't know why that phrase has been just ricocheting around in my brain this entire evening but regardless there you are the demon lord of chaos it themselves huh. i mean you should go down to just a few crystal spheres really for being completely honest with ourselves oh did you not even notice me i don't think they noticed me don't know what hurts more, being mutated or not being seen at all. Okay, I may regret my words. <laughs> Let's see, Ludib's Crystal Sphere, very, very unlikely for it to work for us here. Do you have, you don't have any resistance to my uh, radiation here, so let's just launch a few of these bad boys to to start the party here. Spellforge Servitor miscast is not great. What, what is my spell failure rate on that right now? 7%? How the heck did you fail me? But let's get some clouds and we get acid. Okay, that's fantastic. Well, that should work out fairly well for us. Have I already lost? I have already lost my Spellforge Servitor. Fair enough. Let's, uh, Maybe bring in a, a beast here from the box of just such things. Can potion petition as well. Let's try and get, yeah, do you want haste and heal wounds is about as good as it gets here. Let's double check your resistance is no leg. You're just resistant to fire. You're gonna have to be very resistant or immune to uh, get out of this one, Scott Fury, my friend. Let's 
replenish our magic. Spellforge Servitor once again here. Wait, is, did no one just die? Okay, never mind. That was all very unnecessary. Turns out Acid Clouds, kind of ridiculously overpowered, folks. Holy moly. Should have just had had a bit of faith, had a bit of trust in the powers of the Condenser Vein, but hey. Still can't exactly be unhappy about this. Let's head in and grab our rune. See, doesn't that feel so much better? <laughs> Cerebob should be the worst out of all of them. Cerebob has the most health potentially in the game. Is it him? Either Cerebob or uh, Antaeus, the, the Lord of Cocytus? One of them has the highest health in the game. Regardless, they're both kind of absolute nightmares if you're not fully prepared for them. And in this case, we managed to, to blitz through Noleg without any real issues, and we'll probably just... let's leave. I'm gonna keep getting mutated. I have what I came for. Let's double check that glowing rune of Zot. Fantastic. So we only have one more pan rune to go. Let's see if we can't get that sorted today, shall we? Oh, is this... I think this is the, uh, the Keep of Goodness, which sucks for us. We're going to be fighting a bunch of angels, holy weapons galore. I think potentially even, uh, what's their name? Not Menace. Seraph? I think Seraph can show up here, which would not be good. Oh, we're in for a bit of uh, an adventure. Let's, I guess, read Magic Mapping to get a, our bearings here a little bit, shall we? Because it's all downhill from here. So we have escapes here. That's probably going to be my best bet so that I don't have to actually invade the keep here. It's tough because the keep also has lots of good treasure. So, you know, if I'm feeling confident in my abilities, maybe we, we do try and blitz our way through here. But it's not great. It's a, gonna be a wee bit sketchy no matter how we slice and dice it. I mean, we do have flying, so we can at least get kind of across the lake here and try some stuff out. Don't cleanse me in holy fire, please. And thank you, I appreciate it. Perfect, let's actually just hide in this corner. Lovely little place to rest up. And if we even just have an exit open to us, I'm happy. So there we go. Okay, kiddos. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Not the time, Nameless Horror. Not the time. There we go, though. That is much better. And then by our powers combined, we will just murder the Devas real quick. Beautiful. And okie dokie, not the end of the world here. It seems like we might be strong enough to manage. Um, I think that could change pretty quickly once we get to the main keep and we're under constant fire from all angles here, but we have our exit. This is nice. We have a backup plan if things go poorly. So until then, could drop an exclusion here. Could do a bit of exploring, just, just a tad, just a tidbit. Bit of good old exploring action here. Might get some fantastic tower shields out of it too. That's always a big bonus of coming to this section of the game. A plethora of tower shields for all your tower shield needs. Okay, beautiful. Um, yes, fly into that cloud just to get the heck out of it. Long term solutions. There we go. Oh, fan. Get out of my life, fantastic. I'm guessing that's just a deva or an angel, I hope. Never know when it will be a seraph wandering around ready to, to ruin our day, but not today, I would hope. We'll see how it goes. Also have to be slightly cautious of these alarm traps, because yeah, if we get surrounded or overwhelmed in any way, shape or form, not gonna be a good time, folks. Going to be a uh, stressful venture all things considered. Okay, there's still an OFAN somewhere. Um, jeez Louise. Do you like, oh, you deal extra damage, you son of a gun, of course you do. Um, okay. So let's slow down here a little bit, as I keep just spamming open and close the description again. 
brain is super, super with it today. Very on target, on task. Turn. Forty damage. I deal extra. That shouldn't be the end of the world as long as I'm not also in the sacred flame cloud. So let's just kill you. There we go. Spellforge served her. You can actually do your work now. Maybe. Please. Crystal spear? No. There we go. Okay. Ofan down. <laughs> Finally. 